the fourth and last management domain of the COBIT process is called, Monitor, Evaluate and Assess. It has three processes, and the first process is to monitor, evaluate and assess performance and conformance. The identifier of the process is MEA1. The process ensures that IT and business goals and metrics are collected and evaluated. Processes should be monitored to ensure that they are performing as expected, and timely reports should be generated and distributed. The purpose of the process is to provide transparency of performance and conformance, and to ensure the achievement of goals. The process supports the achievement of four IT-related goals. The first supported IT goal is to manage IT-related risks, and its achievement is measured by the percent of business processes covered by risk assessments, and by the frequency of update of the risk profile. The second IT goal is to ensure the alignment of IT services with business requirements, and its achievement is measured by the number of business disruptions due to IT service incidents, and by the user satisfaction level with the quality of IT service delivery. The third IT goal is to optimize IT assets and resources, and its achievement is measured by the frequency of cost optimization assessments, and by the business satisfaction level with IT costs and capabilities. The fourth IT goal is to ensure the IT compliance with internal policies, and its achievement is measured by the number of incidents related to non-compliance to policy, and by the frequency of policy review and update. The process has five process goals, and the first goal is to ensure that metrics are approved by the stakeholders, and its achievement is measured by the percent of metrics approved by stakeholders. The second goal is to ensure that processes are measured against agreed on metrics, and its achievement is measured by the percent of defined metrics. The third goal is to ensure that the enterprise monitoring is effective, and its achievement is measured by the percent of critical processes monitored. The fourth process is to ensure that metrics are integrated within the enterprise monitoring systems, and its achievement is measured by the percent of metrics aligned to the enterprise monitoring system. The fifth goal is to ensure that the process performance reporting is timely and effective, and its achievement is measured by the percent of performance reports delivered on time. The process has five practices, and the first practice is to establish a monitoring approach. The entities responsible for this practice include, the chief operating officer, the business executives, and the chief information officer. The entity held accountable is the chief executive officer. The practice receives several inputs that include, the reporting and communications principles, the rules for approving reports, and the assessment of reporting effectiveness, all from the EDM5 process. It generates two outputs which are, the monitoring requirements, and the approved monitoring metrics, both to be used internally. The activities involved in this practice include, identifying the relevant stakeholders and communicating the enterprise requirements for monitoring and reporting. The monitoring approach should be aligned with the enterprise approach used for data gathering and enterprise reporting. The goals and metrics should be agreed on, such as the monitoring, conformance, and risk metrics. The monitoring life cycle management should be agreed on, and resources required for monitoring should be requested and allocated. The used monitoring approach should be regularly validated and new requirements should be identified.